Hey guys, wanted to share with you, check out my wig. Okay, it is Passionately Pink Thursday, and these are the new shirts that we got. Can we, here, let me make this adjustment really quick. Here's our shirts for the, have the names on the back of the survivors and the victims, and so this is a shirt for the district this year. On, okay, we back on, sorry, I ran out of battery. All right, so this thing is really itchy. So we've got the blue here, purple, and then we've got our pink in the back, and it actually matches the shirt, and so it is October, one of my favorite months of the school year. And in October, one of the things that we do is, on Thursdays, is Passionately Pink Thursdays. So we get to wear our shirt that we bought from the district, and it's a fundraiser and then we have um i have the students tell them wear pink pink it all out and then for cosmo since we do have clients that lose their hair with breast cancer and stuff of the sort um to wear pink in the hair and so we also have i couldn't find a little pink ribbon decal but got a little pink heart there but it's just you know to be um fun and whoa it almost came off um, <laughs> to be fun and be different and kind of like sits weird on my head a little bit but it's okay no big deal anyway so pink for october and then we have fall fest we have um fashion shows we have um October Wednesdays uh what else do we have going on we have so much going on i can't even keep it together let me show you back here do you see that right there all those papers that we got going on there that is something going on for the entire month it's like almost something every week if not two things then we have salon day and we just just a lot of stuff going on so a lot of things going on super excited super exciting and just you know trekking along there's like a crazy amount of things to do we have a faculty meeting today after school but just wanted to share with you guys the nail designs that we're working on we're starting with dotting tomorrow or no tomorrow i have a field trip for ninth graders and then we're out of school on monday and tuesday for staff development and so wednesday on wednesday we'll start our striping techniques and continue from there we've got a lot of things we've got some uh amazon orders that came in some new cool cool products to work with to show the students how to use so i'm really excited about that um so yeah my husband has officer installation tonight for deca so i'm going to try to make that to help him out and get ready for tomorrow's field trip which you know that's always a whole task on its own just the before going to the field trip because you got the forms and the nurse and all lunches and all kinds of stuff so super excited i cannot wait thank you guys so much for tuning in sorry i've not been posting regularly um today is let me see i have an amber alert thursday october 10th and i had not posted since september 20 not no september 19th so sorry by the time you read this it'll be like two weeks from now because i record a week and then post the next week the back anyway so sorry about that delay there um but we're back hopefully for good and not any have any crazy uh interruptions as we did because i went to washington and that was uh, crazy and just trying to catch up it's just crazy in itself because when the teacher's out it's more work than actually being in school all right so you guys don't forget to subscribe Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one and have a great day. You're gonna need your mat. You're gonna need your damping dish with some remover in it. Inside of your pouch with all your brushes comes your nail dotting tools. If you don't have this because you just got your kit, you can grab a bobby pin from the bobby pin boxes back there. You don't need your French brush, but I'm gonna show you something with it. You need a paper towel, a half sheet of computer paper folded in half, and a piece of foil with your polishes. Okay, so we have here, I want to show you your brushes. Now, your brushes, you are going to typically have them here. Now, one thing is that sometimes your bristles get messed up. The brushes do come with a little plastic lining thing and usually you just throw that away because it's hard to not mess up your bristles and afterwards of putting it in. 
If you have a loose brush and you don't want the bristles to get messed up, you can take a napkin however long your brush is. You take your brush and you roll the brush inside of the napkin, leaving a little extra space. Try to roll it as best you can. And then you put a piece of tape here. And then you protect your, nap your brush. Okay, so you can then, once you use it enough, you can take your brush, squeeze it out, okay, use it, and you can push it back into its little entry point, the little cubby hole, like so, okay. If you don't have something like so, this is best, of course, because you put all your brushes in here and it's good to go. But if you don't have this and they don't fit, this is another way most stylists will have um, their acrylic brushes like this. You just make it, don't make it too tight so you can push the brush in and out. Whenever you do, you wanna push it in from the handle side, not from the bristle side, so your bristles don't bust open, okay? All right, I'm gonna show you how to cut foil. With cutting foil, okay, don't cut foil with scissors because it dulls your scissors. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your foil, you're gonna put it on the corner edge of your table, you want to smooth the edge over, put your hand over the top of the table, and then you're going to pull to rip. So I'm going to come over on this side. Mm -hmm. Take your hand, fold it, put your hand on top of the foil, close to the edge. Take your opposite hand from one corner, pull straight down, and it'll give you a straight line. Okay? Put your foil on top, put your hand down, start on one corner, rip it, and you get a straight line. Okay, that's how you cut foil. You'll need to know that so that when you do highlights, you can cut a lot of foil. What if we use like the end of a brush? You can use the end of a brush. You can slide. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's different techniques. This is just the most basic common one. What if we do this side? So your hard work can I come up with Yes. Everybody got their foil? All right. Take, I'm gonna start with white, okay? You're gonna take your, your polish, but I'm gonna do it on my mat. If you, yes. If you don't have a mat, you can use your paper or your foil, either one. I'm gonna go ahead and get my white because it's easier for me, for you to see it on the screen. I'm gonna take my polish and I'm gonna drop polish down on my foil. Not a lot, just a little bit. Because if I do a lot, it's eventually gonna dry and if it dries, then I'm just wasting my polish. If you take a look at your daughters, on one end, they're all the same size and on the opposite end, they're small to big dots on the top, on the tip of the tool and little balls at the end. We're gonna work with the biggest daughter, okay? And we're gonna pick up and drop off product. Now, when you're working with your foil, to practice, your foil is fine. Here, I got my polish. If working professionally, in your kit, you got this little uh, ring. You put it on your thumb, you squeeze it to fit your finger and your size, and then you work off of your your ring. So instead of working from my foil, I'm working from my ring. Yeah. Either one. Practicing foil, professional ring. Okay? Whatever you feel comfortable with, you can use. But that's what that's for. If you have polish that is a cheaper quality polish, it's going to dry faster. Okay? So drop down a fresh bead of polish using the biggest bead or ball on your daughter. You're going to pick up polish. You're gonna load your daughter and you're gonna pick up polish. Swirl your daughter inside the dot of nail polish and you're going to drop down a dot and you're gonna pick up. Now on this one, if you notice, when I dropped down, my daughter slid and I made a long dot. That's wrong, because it's not a perfect circle. 
I'm gonna drop down my daughter, I'm gonna angle my, my tool, and I'm gonna drop and I'm gonna pick up. Well, that's not correct either because I have a little, little cone at the side of my dot. When you're dotting, you have to make sure that the tool is going to get laid down straight down and you pick up straight up. When you're holding the daughter, the daughter should be parallel to the side walls. It should be perpendicular to the tabletop or the nail, okay? So I'm gonna go again, I'm gonna load my daughter, I'm gonna roll my daughter into my polish, I'm gonna drop down, straight down, and pick up straight up. I'm gonna drop down, straight down, pick up. I'm gonna reload my daughter, drop down, pick up. Reload my daughter. Drop down, pick up. Reload. Drop down, pick up. Reload. Drop down, pick up. Reload. Drop down, pick up, and done. Okay. The reason why my dot is the same consistency across the board is because I picked up polish and I dropped a dot down. I picked up polish and I dropped a dot down. Not only are you working on your consistency, but you're working on making sure that you have the same amount of product on your tool. Wait, it's not even dirty. All right, so consistency. One, Making sure there's the same amount of product that you pick up after each dot. Pick up, product, drop the dot. Two, spacing. You gotta make sure that the same amount of spacing in between each dot. Okay? So your muscle memory with your hand picking up and dropping off, picking up and dropping off, you've gotta be consistent. Three, Alignment. This is a straight line across, parallel to the ceiling and the floor. When you're working, make sure that you keep the line straight if it is a straight line. Okay? All right. Now, let's take our daughter, we're gonna wipe our daughter on our napkin, and we're gonna dip our daughter into our as a polish remover, but don't get the wooden part wet. You're gonna take your napkin, and you're gonna pinch the daughter, and you're gonna rotate the daughter to get it nice and clean. You'll see if it's dirty, if your napkin's dirty. All right, now we're gonna take a new bead of polish and drop it on our foil in a new spot on our foil. We're gonna do a line of diminishing dots like we did when we did henna. You're only gonna load your tool one time. So swirl on your tool, pick up product, and you're gonna dot, drop down, pick up. Do not reload. Scoot over, drop down, pick up. 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 You're going to notice that eventually you run out of product, one. You possibly might get this little donut effect if you're pushing down hard, running out of product. So we don't push hard down? You don't necessarily have to push hard down. Yeah. Right now it's easy because it's on silicone, but if you push down on the nail, it's going to slip. Because there's no give. Here, consistency, making sure that your rows and your columns are even, parallel, vertically, and horizontally. Guys, I look like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just caught myself in the mirror and I look crazy, but okay. <laughs> All right, so, vertical and horizontal, horizontal, okay? We wanna make sure that you're consistent. That is a line of diminishing dots. Now, take your tool and drop it into your remover and clean it up. You have to clean up your tool constantly because we have, um, you eventually, it dries up and you get like a ring or a jelly roll on the tip side of the ball, which then can ruin your design, okay? 
put some remover in it and shake it up. I did. I did. Oh, okay. All right, so now we're gonna go backwards. So we're gonna load up our tool and we're gonna start on the side that has the smallest dot and we're gonna go backwards. Drop down, pick up, don't pick up product. Drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up, straight up. When you're holding your tool, your tool has to be parallel to the floor and the ceiling when you drop down and when you pick up. Like a tree, a tree grows perpendicular to the ground. Of course, some are crooked, but perfect world scenario, it's straight up. My line here went crooked. Okay. Wipe your dotting tool, get the product off of the dotting tool. Then we're going to move on to our paper. I'm going to change my nail polish color. And half is good. I'm going to take blue. I'm going to drop down some blue on my foil. Okay. And with my blue, I'm going to pick up some blue and I'm going to do a diagonal line. So I'm going to start on the corner, drop down, pick up. I'm going to pick up product. Drop down, pick up, 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 pick up product. Drop down, pick up. I want to make sure that I'm being consistent. Okay? I want to be sure that as I'm creating my diagonal line that I am straight, that my design is straight. Okay, nice and angled. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and turn my tool around to the other side. And if you don't have your tool, you have maybe a bobby pin and you might want to flip it over. It might be a different size dot. If not, it's the same. I'm going to pick up and then right next to it or in between your choice, I'm going to do another dot, but it's a smaller dot with the opposite side of my tool. In between them, in between them or next to them, that'd be your choice. Drop down, pick up, pick up product. Drop down, pick up, pick a product. Drop down, pick up, pick a product. Okay? Drop down, pick up, and done. You can have straight lines with two different size tools, or you can have straight lines with the same size tools. Should you want to do it to the side, you can do the same thing as well. The main thing is to be consistent. Pick a product, drop down. Pick a product, drop down. Pick a product, drop down. You just want to make sure that it is consistent. It's straight, it's vertical, it's even, it's parallel and horizontal. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more polish to my foil. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a curved line with my biggest dot. So I'm going to clean off my tool and then I'm going to pick up product only once, only once. I'm going to load my tool and I'm going to do a rainbow. So start at the bottom. Drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up. With the bigger end. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's like a rainbow. Then I'm going to reload my tool and I'm going to start on the small side. Drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up. 
It's just going in reverse on top of my first arch. Okay. That's your arch line. Now your arch is the same and when you're going horizontally like a ladder, even though it's a curved line, your dots line up. It's important to practice that. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is a swirl or a circle. So my polish is drying up so I'm going to drop some more polish. That's why you do a little bit at a time because it dries up and you don't want to be wasteful. I'm going to load my tool, swirl it in my polish. I'm going to drop down, pick up, 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 and I'm curving my design as I go. So it's a swirl. Just like when we did henna with you guys last year, that line of diminishing dot is the same concept. Except for circling and drawing it in, you're just dotting it down. Okay. You can do big circles. So drop down, only pick up product one time. Big circles and all the way around. Or you can do itty bitty circles, nice and tightly together. That be your choice. You just have to curve it as you're going around. Okay. Now go ahead and try to do those same designs but with a smaller size in your daughter. Smaller size in your daughter. All right, so this image here, as you see, these here are lines of diminishing dots and straight lines. So, this one here, is this a straight line or a line of diminishing dots? Straight line. Straight line. Do you pick a product once or do you pick a product each time you drop down? Each time. Very good. What about these right here? Are these lines of diminishing dots or straight lines? Diminishing. Lines of diminishing. Do you pick up once or each time? Once. once at the beginning, okay? So this one here are two different tools, the big size tool and the small size tool. They're both straight lines, okay? You can curve them going in either direction creating and changing your design. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pick one of these designs and you're either going to do the design on your nail mat and one of the nail shapes you have there, on your paper, on your finger, your hands, or any nail tip you might have. Yeah, you can use the nail tips from yesterday. 9.30, ADA, attendance reminder. So, Pick one of these and create one of these designs. Tomorrow, you will get a worksheet that has these exact designs for a, a design, a, a, a project we're gonna be working on. Okay, so while I take your attendance, go ahead and take care of that. You can use one color or you can use various colors. That will be your choice. All right, while you're working on that, lend me in here. So last year when we taught, <laughs> that would be weird, huh? Last year when we taught henna, we introduced to you the line of diminishing dots and the straight dots. This year you're using the same technique but in nail polish or nail art, okay? Not this week, but soon enough. Everybody got this in your kit. It's a little, um, container, yeah, with a bean container with uh, gems. We are then going to take these exact designs and I'm going to teach you how to lay down your gems in these patterns. 
So not only do you have to learn how to do the dotting designs and techniques as a basic foundation, just for nail art, but also too for laying down your gems and designs. You can't just like start throwing gems on the client's fingernails and think it's gonna look cute. You gotta have a design that goes with it. It's gotta be a reason for the laying down of the gems, okay? So, keep that in mind, okay? As you're working on that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up your next piece. I mean, I do Okay, I want to show you this one. Do you see how this one, it's a half of a flower type of design? There's a watermark on there, but do you see the dots here? So dots can be added to any design to enhance the design and make the design look better. Okay, keeping that in mind. Whenever, oh, let me go backwards, sorry. This design here, you can see that there's dots, the henna type design, but you can see the dots around the circles. So you can use the dots to enhance your design that you're working on. Most of all of these you notice are stilettos. They all have different um, designs on them. But here you can see there's some golden dots, some small dots, big dots. You can change your polish colors. You change the design of your dots to create a really nice image. For example, here, striping and dotting. So we'll start striping, I believe, Monday. Striping is just creating lines and then adding the lines and add the dots and you have a really cute design. In your kit, you got some of these, yes? Nail wheels? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you're going to create designs with your nail wheel, okay? So, these are created with dots, right? It's the white, it's the green, and the orange, but with the orange dot, they created this curve. With the white dots, they created that curve. There's dots here, okay? There's dots here. This is a theme. There's dots here to make the little face. There's dots to make. This is an Irish theme. Does not mean you have to do this theme, okay? So think about a theme that you want to use or do because you are then going to create a nail wheel. Here's another one, okay? These are not, these are designs. These are not dotting designs. But you can see is the, the theme. The theme is the colors that they all match, okay? So choose three, maybe four colors that you want to do, okay? Because what you're going to do is this one here. You can use dots to create a design, like what we saw previously, or here's a heart, here's an owl, here's some kind of designs, and here's a cross. Or you can use dots to create just any random design, which these are the random designs, okay? Choose your theme, choose your colors, okay? Take a nail wheel, count how many nails there are and split it in half. You can do half vertically, diagonally, or horizontally, it's up to you, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to design half of your nail wheel with dotting designs of your choice your color choice and your theme choice. That, that's what you're gonna work on tomorrow in class. If I were you, I would take, if I could figure out my design, I would take my nail wheel and I would polish my nails in the color of the tone that you're gonna want. So if you want this one to be pink, I would polish that one pink. And I don't know if it's blue and black and whatever color. Do that at home. So tomorrow when you bring it, you don't have to polish it and waste the time it's already done. You just have to work on your dots. Okay? Yes? Can we do stripes too or does it have to be all dots? All dots. Only dotting. You can only use the dotting technique with this. You can polish the nail, but only dotting techniques. Yeah. Okay? Any questions on this? Yes, you can do Halloween theme. You can create and design, but you can only use dots. You can use a pumpkin. Yeah. But you can, you have to be mad out of dots like the owl and the heart. Yeah,
It could be big dots, it could be a little, but it has to be a dotting technique. No, we can't, we can't have stripe. Have no, just stripe. You can do a stripe, just put your dots close together. Oh. Okay. You know what I mean? I it'll be a bubbly line, yeah. but it'll be a line. Because you know that, what is it? It's like cartoon. It's like it's like all dots, like the people on their faces. Oh, yes, like, yes, yes, yeah. That, yeah, like comic. Yeah. Yeah. I mm -hmm. that. You can do that. Any Don't questions on that? <laughs> all right, that is all I have for you for today. You can finish your French polish from yesterday. You can start on trying to figure out what your design is going to be for tomorrow. You can practice your designs and your dots. One last thing that I want to say. On your table and on paper you are working on a flat surface it's easy to push the daughter down and pick it up look at your nails or your nail tips they are not only round or curved side to side but they are curved from to back so the technique is different once you get to nails so keep that in mind